Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to Lynn's Life Lesson. Hi guys, how are you today? It's a beautiful Monday guys and if you're with me then you know it's Monday which is Mental Health Monday which is where I come in and I talk about the mental health piece and just get help to guide you and find out if you know someone or you are having some issues where you might have to see a doctor or see a psychologist or a psychiatrist. So guys, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm none of those. I'm just a young lady coming in and talking about the mental health um, piece because a lot of people are not aware of the mental health piece and if they're having some issues or some things that they may be going through and they may need to seek help for. So that's what I'm here for. And of course, guys, when I'm doing this piece, it also, when I'm doing this piece, it also includes me. When I do the mental health piece, because I went through a lot of trauma in my life, that's why I try to come in and um, let people know they can get help because sometimes a lot of us don't know the type of help we need. They, we don't know if we're having any issues and because in our community sometimes, you know, um, we don't get the proper help that we need for some of the things that we're going through. And the mental health piece definitely seeks and comes to me because of some of the things I went through in my life. But as I sought to get the right type of help, I'm getting better. So guys, I wanted to come in on today and just, um, I'm gonna have my glasses, so I'm gonna be reading a little bit. So guys, I just wanted to come in and kind of educate us a little bit more on that mental health piece. And so the first thing I'll be talking about is, what is mental health? And why is mental health so important? And can your mental health change over time? And how common are mental illnesses? Because a lot of people don't know that mental illness, it's a lot of people that have some mental illness going on and they not, not have the, they might not have been diagnosed or they may not know what's going on. So this is the reason why I come on and try to give you a little bit more education on the mental health piece. So the first thing I'll be talking about is what is mental health? Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, how we feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress so and relate to others and make healthy choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood to adolescence through adulthood. So it's just, you know, it's important to know that it does affect everything in your life. If you're having some mental issues, it does affect everything. And in seeking the help, that way you'll be able to get the right type of help that can help you and help you process whatever you seem to be going through. And the next thing is, why is mental health important for our overall health? Mental and physical health are equally important components of overall health. So it does affect all your health. And I'm learning some things today too because um, when I read down later, I'll talk to you about that. And it says, for example, depression increases the risk for many types of physical health problems, particularly long lasting conditions. And this is something I learned today, which is like diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Similar, similar, similarly, the presence of chronic conditions can increase the risk of mental illness. Now that's something I learned today when reading this before I brought it out because I am a diabetic. And if you have some mental illness going on, it increases it and, and makes it you know, worse from what I'm understanding with this. It says, can mental health change over time? Yes, it is important to remember that a person's mental health can change over time depending on many factors. When the demands placed on a person exceed their resources and coping abilities, their mental health could be impacted. For example, if someone is working long hours, caring for a relative, or experiencing economic hardship, they may experience poor mental health. So guys, this is why this is so very important to me. And going over some of the things to let you guys know, you know, that 
There are resources out there that can help us. And at the end, guys, I'm going to give you a 1-800 number if you're having some issues that you can call and they can probably help you get to where you need to be. And the next thing was how common are mental illness? <clears throat> mental illness, um, how common are mental illnesses? Mental illnesses are among the most common health conditions in the United States. And that's something I learned today too. I didn't know mental health was a big thing. I know it's, it's um, a part of it, but I didn't know it was so prevalent. It says more than 50% will be diagnosed with a mental illness or disorder at some point in their lifetime. One in five Americans will experience a mental illness in a given year, one in five. One in five children either currently or at, or at some point during their life have had a serious debilitating mental illness. Wow. And then one in 25 Americans live with a serious mental illness such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or major depression. So guys, this is why I really like to come on and do the mental health feast to make you guys aware of what is going on and that you may have someone that's dealing with some of the issues and you may can read more and get some of the signs so you'll know how to talk to them about getting help because in our community, a lot of people do not like to get the help, the proper help they need, but there's help out there that you can get. And the next thing I want to talk about, what causes mental illness? There is no single cause of mental illness. A number of factors can contribute to risk up for mental illness, such as early adverse life experiences, such as trauma or a history of abuse. And see, that's the piece that really I talk about, the trauma part for me, what I went through. And so trauma can cause mental illness. For example, child abuse and sexual assault, witnessing violence, or et cetera. So guys, we know what that is about because a lot of us probably in some point in our life, not all of us, but some of us might have seen, um, experienced, a, you know, someone being assaulted or someone being abused in our lives. So this is why, guys, I like to bring out the mental health piece. It's so very important to me. It says experiences related to other ongoing chronic medical conditions such as cancer or diabetes. Now the diabetes piece keep coming up for me and I'm just very concerned, you know, and that's why I try to make sure that I know what's going on and try to take better care of my health. It says biological factors or chemical imbalances in the brain because some people may have a parent with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or things of that nature that may also emulate to the child. Not necessarily saying it is, but it can because it says here biological factors. Okay. And it also says the use of alcohol or drugs having feel and having feelings of loneliness or isolation. If we're feeling isolated or alone, you know what I mean? That may be one of the problems because with the pandemic, a lot of people really did feel isolated and alone. And if you're going, and if you don't have family members or friends that were able to come out and help you, then what you were stuck and you know, you just didn't have anyone. So we need to try to be our brother's keeper and try to check on um, the loved ones. Make sure we know exactly, you know, try to know a little bit of what's going on. Reach out to them and let them know that we're there for them. And it says people can experience different types of mental illness or disorders, and they can often occur at the same time. Mental illness can occur over a short period of time or be episode episodic which means it can be episodes this means that the mental illness comes in and goes with discrete beginnings and ends mental illness can also be ongoing and long lasting and there are more than 200 types of mental illness i was shocked because i did not know that um there were so many different types of mental illness some of the main types of mental illness and disorders are listed here Okay, so 200 different types of mental illness. I That's why I try to always read, guys, and get something to bring to you guys to explain it. And I'm just overwhelmed with knowing that there are two types of, 200 types of mental illnesses that you can 
be diagnosed with. It's just amazing. That's why, guys, I come on and talk about the mental health piece. It's very, very important to me that I bring this out and let people know that you can get help. You got to seek help because this is very important that you get it taken care of, that you can continue to be the best you, the best version of you, and to know that you are not alone. You are not alone. And then the other piece that really touched me was the diabetes part and also the part about if you're a caregiver. And I am both of those. So that's why I say, guys, when I come in and talk about the mental health piece, it has a lot to do with me, what I'm going through. And it's an ongoing thing. It's not just a quick fix. You put a Band-Aid on it and it's over. It's like you got to really seek to get the help that you need. And it's so very hard. So can you imagine if you're a caregiver of more than one person and you have children also and a spouse to take care of? It's a, it's a big picture. So that's why I love coming on and talking about the mental health piece so that you can know that there is help out there that you may need to seek help. I'm not a doctor. I'm none of that. I'm just coming to let people know how important it is to get the necessary tools to help you and that um, there is help out there and that, you know, you, you're not alone. You're not, you're not the only one going through, you know, you're not the only one. It's other people out here that are going through some of the things too. For example, I was, and I'm, you know, I, I go through things on a daily basis. I'm human just like the next person, you know, and then just like I said, I'm a caregiver. I make sure I try to stay up on my health wise. And then I have to make sure that, you know, my daughter is getting her doctor visits too. So being a caregiver is a big picture that I think a lot of people sometimes take it for granted. And um, that's why I am big, very big on Wednesdays doing something for myself so that I can wind down and get my mental where it also needs to be so I can continue to be the best me that I can be so that I can continue to take care of my family. So guys, I'm not going to make the video really long, but I just wanted to come out and bring you some things out to let you know about the mental health piece. And also guys, I want to give you this number that you can call so you can get some help. That number is one 800 985-5990. Once again, 1-800-985-5990. So guys, I thank you so much for all of your support. And I thank you to all my subscribers for subscribing to the channel. You guys are very important to me, my old and my new. I really appreciate each and every one of you for coming, taking the time out to come to my channel to um, like the videos, to leave me the comments that you leave. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys are a blessing to me. Make a love to each and every one of you guys. And guys, you know what? I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, make sure you're taking some time out for yourself. Self-care is the best care. I will never stop saying that. Self-care is the best care. Self-love is so very, very important. So take some time out to check on your check on someone. Check on your sister. Check on your brothers. Check on your neighbors. You know, just try to be there for them. And also make sure you're taking care of yourself. And guys, on next week, I have some more information concerning the mental health piece. I'm going to keep this up, guys. I'm going to keep continuing to let you know, guys, there is help out there. So guys, I don't want to make my video too long. You make sure you're having a blessed day and just know that you are blessed and know that there is help out there for you. And just if you seem like you need the tools to help you, seek help, okay? And guys, you make sure you have what? A blessed day. And I'll do what? I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.